it's just ridiculous. Hey guys, it's Destiny. What the fuck is up? So, I decided to make an update video um, so I can, I guess, spread the word even more because I'm pretty sure there may be a couple people who didn't hear about my mistake. A lot of people are understanding that it was an honest mistake. It wasn't something where I was trying to get attention or using clickbait, purposely lying. I did not go on AliExpress to buy a fake um, NYX lingerie lipstick and stage the whole thing. And obviously people know that since they realized that the formula was just an old formula. So right off the bat, right from there, if you knew that the formula I was trying on and trying to say that it was fake, you knew that it wasn't like I was just trying to make up this huge scandal and blah, blah, blah. Um, I've had people say that I should take it down because people are being misinformed. Um, but I don't, I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm not going to do that because I feel like what I said is true in some ways. Yeah, maybe the, the NYX wasn't fake. Okay, fine. But there is still a possibility that people do return dupes because ever since I put that video out there, I've had multiple divers contact me and tell me, yeah, um, I was going through my stash and I did find out that this, that, and the third was fake. Or yeah, I found this, I looked at it, I looked through it closely and I realized um, this isn't authentic. Okay, and it's not just a NYX lipstick, it's something else, okay? Or I had this one diver tell me that her cousin said that she found a peach palette and it had a, a fake sticker on the back of it. So obviously, Alta probably checked it and they knew that, okay, this, this was fake and they threw it out. So there is a possibility. It's not like it's impossible, okay? And that's why I'm not taking that video down. The message is there and I was mainly just trying to look out for everyone. Like, I was just trying to inform people because the girl that I saw when she did this fake up series, she actually did get a chemical burn on her lips and I will put a video um, like next to me, just like I did in the last video. She did get chemical burns on her lips and you know, when you see something like that, why wouldn't you want to like spread the word and tell people, hey, I think I found this fake thing from the dumpster of a store that's supposed to sell authentic makeup. I wasn't throwing a hissy fit because it was fake and I only want the real thing. No, that wasn't why. It was because I obviously watched a video where I saw the dangers of putting fake lipstick on your lips. You know what I mean? And not only was I looking out for divers or just for my viewers, I was also looking out for Ulta and the employees. Like when, when, when did I say that it was the employee's fault? Never, cause it's not the employee's fault. It's the asshole customers who think it's okay to buy an authentic, buy the fake one and return the fake one, get their money back and still have the real product at home. Like, uh, hello, who are you? What are you doing? No, go, go away. Don't do that, that's not right. So yeah, I don't, it's just, it's just very irritating. And then I have people talking about, oh, you should have done your research more. You should, you should do more research before you put out something like this and start an uproar. Listen, I see a video of sticky lipstick. I noticed that my lipstick is sticky and the fonts and the labels are different. Um, sorry that I thought that was enough freaking research for me to be able to put it out there and let everyone know to be careful, okay? When I realized that I was incorrect, I pinned a comment on my video, I shared it on Instagram, and I also spoke about it on my Snapchat and my Twitter. Like, I put this all over my social medias because I realized that I was wrong, but I don't think that it's right for people to try to make it seem like I just did this for like attention or clickbait or you should have done your research better because blah blah blah. Like, dude, I was just trying to look out for people. That's really all I was doing. I was concerned 
So I made a video about it. You know what I mean? Like, and then that whole, you should have done more research thing really, really irritates me because it's like, I saw a video of sticky lipstick, okay? The labels were different. Of course, I'm gonna think that I have a fake or a dupe, okay? That's another thing, the word dupe and fake, okay? There's someone in my comments talking about, oh, and you should learn the difference between a dupe and a fake, blah, blah, blah. Because, you know, people will be like, oh, um, if you want this Jeffree Star lipstick, there's a dupe of it in NYX, right? Or like, there's a dupe of this Jeffree Star thing in like Clinique or whatever. In my opinion, me personally, I consider a dupe a fake. I don't, I don't think that just because um, different companies have like the same shade of lipstick. I don't consider that a dupe. I just consider that, okay, well, the same red is in like um, Maybelline or something like that. Or you you can get that same red in like Laura Geller or something. Like that's, I don't, I don't consider it like a dupe. Like a dupe for this is this lipstick. I don't, I consider a dupe the same thing as a fake. And that's just me. Like that's personally just me. If, as soon as I hear dupe, I'm like, oh, that was a fake. You know, so like, for example, okay, like you see this Stila lipstick is like the same color as this Tartius Pro one or whatever, like this, this lip paint, right? I wouldn't say, hey, if you want to do for this, Tarte has this, like, no, these are just shades of red from two different companies in my eyes. But if I would be like, a dupe for this is on AliExpress for like $3, <laughs> it's fake though, so you know. That's, that's, that's just, that's just me. That's the way, that's, that's how I see it, okay? Because I had someone like, oh, learn the difference between a dupe and a fake. Well, I'm sorry, Einstein. You should delete it because you're, it, people are going to be misinformed. And it's like, not, not really. Like, yeah, maybe about the lipstick, but they're not going to be completely misinformed because... People are obviously returning dupes, okay? Like I said, I've had multiple divers contact me and tell me, hey, I was checking this palette, girl, and this is not authentic. Okay? So watch yourself. I'm not known for clickbait. I'm not known for being fake. I'm not known for like always freaking lying to you guys about something so why would i do it now like why would i intentionally make it seem like i got a fake when i didn't like could you not tell i was concerned i shared a freaking clip of the sticky lipstick and i tried mine and it was sticky how was i not supposed to think that was fake for my video was just to spread the word and let people know about my theories and my theories are not incorrect maybe my comparisons to two real NYX lipsticks was incorrect because you know again I don't even know how NYX got away with selling that sticky ass shitty ass lipstick like that was just nasty that's just nasty but you know I just did it to like raise awareness um and just tell Ulta employees like you know girl watch out like I, I get a lot of hate from Ulta employees and I still don't think it's right for people to just legit steal like you want to say that us being in your dumpster stealing whatever girl you got real customers stealing from you okay honey boo boo don't try to come for me and my divers because we're not here for it like obviously my my genuine squad and like even people who saw me mess up and they saw that I was incorrect like hey that's the old formula like if you want to inform me and be like yo like you're you're wrong like that's actually pretty legit that was that was just the old formula that's fine but then you have people who feel the need that they have to be an asshole in the comment section like oh like that's that, that, that's fucking stupid like no like that's obviously the old formula why are you so pressed? Because I made a mistake on my video? Like, I mean, relax, okay? Relax. 
another point that I want to throw out, even though I don't do, um, like I don't put lipsticks in my giveaways, but it's like, imagine you being a YouTuber and a dumpster diver and you're doing a giveaway, like the one that I'm doing. And I accidentally give you guys like a fake palette that I think is real, but you get it, you try to use it and the pigment just sucks ass. And you're just sitting there like, I know this came from the dumpster, but there's no pigment on this. Like this is not real. You know what I'm saying? Like do you, can you imagine how bad you'd feel if you're doing a giveaway of things that like you found and you think is authentic, but then your subscriber gets it and it's kind of just like, hey, um, this palette has no pigment. Like I, I can't, I can't use this. And then they probably look it up and it's like a fake. So put yourself in my shoes, okay? I didn't intentionally lie. I didn't purposely lie. I was really concerned, okay? Because that was a shitty ass, sticky ass lipstick. Okay, so something was wrong. I felt like something was wrong and I spoke about it. So this concludes my video, guys, because I really just have nothing else to say. If you like my glasses, this is actually one of the companies that I'm sponsoring, okay? And it turns out you can get your glasses for free. Okay, so if you want to hear about my glasses, tune in for my next video, girl. I'm going to give you all the details about, about all this. I'm serving you librarian. I'm serving you teacher. I'm serving you education. I'm serving... I know my shit. Okay? So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If this is the first time you've seen my face, click around, watch my videos, get to know me a little bit better, and subscribe when you're ready. We can be friends or whatever. Remember, stay weird. May the dumpster gods be with you, and I will see you next time. Bye.